The game does not get better than this. I loved this game, I really did. I played this game for years after it came out. I got to over level 100 legitimately, and I was one of the top PvP players on my server. I enjoyed every part of it. The game had the best combat I had ever experienced, and it kept me hooked for hours on end. And I really wanted to love this update. I took a whole day of school just so I could play the game when it came out. However, me and my friend who are both keyboard veterans quit the new update after nearly 3 hours of playtime because we found it lackluster, boring and not fun. Now please hear me out. What I used to love about keyboard was that you could take on bosses and creatures much stronger than you and win just by your own skill. But in this version that's gone. Everything is here to one shot you. The only way to overcome these new enemies is by getting better gear by getting super lucky, killing the only things you can kill. Or by baiting enemies into random allies you find. You can't even damage enemies at a higher level than you now. Previously you could, as I said, outdo tougher enemies with skill, whereas that is non-existent now. The new progression feels more like an MMO drop chance grind than putting effort into killing your foes, improving your character with each kill. That isn't to even mention how the combat has been downgraded. Your ultimate is your only attack that does any kind of damage, making you rely on that and just running until the cooldown is over and you can use your ultimate again. Whereas in the old combat system, each skill was multi-purpose. They could be used for dodging, movement and attacking. The combat system was fluid and flowed really well. Each skill was used to skillfully take out an opponent instead of just cheesing with your ult. The only way to get better gear and stand a chance is by exploiting the random groups of allies around and kill high levels until you finally get that very lucky drop of a strong weapon or piece of armor, otherwise you stand no chance. As you can see in the multiple clips in the background, I couldn't kill anything so I had to get the random ally NPCs to kill whatever I wanted to kill at a chance for a good item so I could defend myself. Speaking of getting lucky and getting better gear, doesn't it make sense that the drop rate should be higher for my class instead of the game always dropping me items from other classes that I can't use? If I spend my time and energy beating a boss, I should get an item for my class, or at the very least an item I can use. I don't want to beat a boss just so I can get some mage pants that I can only sell for a couple gold. It makes me feel like I wasted all my time for nothing. Now region locking is something I really don't understand in this game. Why would you region lock gear in an adventure game? I don't understand this. You want to adventure and explore new areas, find bosses, dungeons and structures, but no! Every time you enter a new area you have to start from scratch. You need to get new armor, new weapons, find another hang glider, boat, etc for each different zone you go in. Imagine setting sail to explore the seas, only for you to get kicked off your boat because you entered a new zone. I'm happy exploring, finding and unlocking everything I need for dungeons, but I do not want to keep doing it over and over again. After I've unlocked it once, that should be it. I should be able to use that item all I want. Even the durability system would be better. You consume less all stamina right. when diving. I mean, it, yeah, okay. <laughs> Your reward for finishing a zone is an artifact, which is the only thing you get to keep when going into a new zone. All they do is increase a small substat like riding speed, climbing speed, swimming speed, or less stamina used by hand gliding. Useful, right? That's what you get for completing a whole zone. You lose everything else, but you get a small substat increase permanently. That's worse than what clicker games like Adventure Capitalist give you for resetting. Now I haven't touched on plus armor yet. Plus armor is armor that you can take all around the kingdom, meaning neighboring zones. You get this rarely by random, or you get this by completing a zone. This lets you take the armor or weapon into a few surrounding zones of the one you have completed, but those also don't work if you leave those surrounding zones. The leveling system in old keyboard gave you steady progression throughout. You knew what you were doing the whole time, there was no confusion. If you wanted to fight harder mobs, you level up and equip better gear for that level. In this update there are no levels. Whether that is a good or bad thing is arguable, but it was still something I loved and removing it makes for a much more confusing system. Especially since if you get lucky with a good sword, you can just destroy everything you come across. And if you try to play with a friend, one of you will have to be very weak and do no damage until you can get gear for them. So it's basically like playing a solo game in a multiplayer lobby, until they either get a weapon or some sort of armor as a lucky drop. It's not even worth buying armor for them as the armor in the shops is basically as useless as your starting gear but for a much more hefty price. I hate the new climbing mechanics. I don't like that it's a game of timing of when to press E and much preferred it when you could just hold down your climb key which is stupidly now your use key and not an individual key like before. Holding down your climb key is much more intuitive and a lot less luck based than hitting E at the right time. 
With the old climb key system, you could reliably make jumps and climb on any wall you could see just by holding it down. Now if you want to grab onto a ledge, you're going to have to pray that you hit E at the right time rather than just holding down your climb button and jumping to that ledge. And all climbing spikes do is let you climb without using stamina. I shouldn't have to say this, but I should not be bored in a game while playing with my friends. That genuinely means that the game is stale. During my time, the most fun I had was running around petting animals I could pet. Speaking of pets, when taming an animal, you should not be attacked by the other animals around the one that you are taming. That's so stupid. I just want to tame a pet, not get attacked by the whole family. I also don't like the new map. It's really difficult to use and confusing when you zoom in and out. The old map was pretty much perfect and intrigued me to go find and explore what I couldn't see on the map. It showed where you had been and where you haven't. It was simple and worked really well. It didn't need a change. I'm not against the new one, but it definitely needs to flow better and become a lot more user friendly, like the old one. Also, two small quality of life features that I'd really like is to be able to open the map while moving, and for my star slash waypoints I place on the map to be visible to my friends as well, instead of only me. Another minor issue is auto crafting. Why do we still have to hold down left click to craft a bunch of items? Let me set an amount and let it auto craft. Yes, it is an improvement that it is sped up the longer you craft, but I still don't want to hold my finger down for that long while I stare at a loading bar. It's just a simple quality of life feature, that's all. Oh boy, I haven't even touched on the new resurrection system. It's so stupid that I respawn at a shrine across the zone from where I was headed. Every single time I die, I have to walk another 5 minutes back to the place I was in. Why is this a thing? In the old game, you would just respawn about a 20 second walk away from where you were. What was the issue with that? Something else I don't like about the new update, which is completely subjective but you may agree with me, is the new UI. I emailed Wally about my thoughts on the new UI before it was even announced that the game was coming to Steam, where I said to him, Hello Wally, I'm not here to ask about the update date or anything as I trust you'll bring the game to us in time in its best possible state, but I wanted to inquire about the user interface. The user interface shown in your newest Mage gameplay video looked pretty different and I can say I'm not as much of a fan compared to the old one. I much prefer the old style. The map is too big in the new one for my taste, although you can probably change that. I miss being able to see your character and pets in the top left, and I think the new item bar should be located at the bottom left instead. I much preferred everything being compacted into the small little UI at the bottom of the screen in the old version of the game. I hope this is something we can choose between because I really do not like the new UI. I honestly don't think it meshes as well with the game as before. Thank you for reading, I eagerly await your response. Sadly, he never replied. Also, what the fuck is this thing? Every single one of my complaints are being reciprocated on the keyboard subreddit. Me and hundreds of others that all love this game are so disappointed in this new update. I'll link a few threads in the description of the video, as well as a post that I agree with wholeheartedly that takes the words right out of my mouth. As he says, the beta feels more bare bones than the alpha did. I'm not saying nothing can improve, because they very easily can, and to be fair to Wally, he has been utilising the beta well by patching the game each day, but why change or remove everything that was loved in the old game? The foundation of the base game were perfect and could only be improved upon. All we really needed was quests and an integrated PvP system and the game would be pretty much perfect in my eyes. I'm sorry most things in this critique are negative, as there are definitely some great improvements. But overall, I just don't enjoy the game anymore, and I don't like the direction this game has taken and is heading in. The game went from one of my favourite games of all time, to a game that is so boring I don't even want to play it anymore. Yours truly, Brandon. Thank you so much for watching, and sticking with me until the end. So much time and effort went into this video, I even skipped two days of school just so I could finish it on time. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.